It looks like the perfect day. <laughs> well, we had a few false starts, but it was perfect. Oh, look at those cheeks. <laughs> yeah, that's what I love about him. <laughs> yeah, that's Seb. Uh, surprisingly cute, considering his Roberts. And, and what's the arrangement with his mum? Well, Seb lives with his mum now in Liverpool, but he comes here and I go there, so neither of us miss out. Right. Uh, so how long did you say you two had been together? Three years, on the whole. Well, uh, we, we kind of got married a couple of years back, um, but then properly, officially, uh, last year. So that would make Seb four? Oh, it's a bit small for four. Sorry, maths. I mean, I did get a D. Um, but if you've been together for three years? Well, um, Robert and Rebecca, that's Seb's mum, they um, reunited briefly. Very briefly. It was a one-off thing. Oh, right. But it's over now, we're sorted. Must be. Sit here and listening to me saying daft stuff without gouging one another's eyes out. No, they're pretty cool. I don't know about you, but I'm not that forgiving. Here you are. Life chucks stuff at everyone, doesn't it? It's always ups and downs. Yeah, you've got me through a fair few. Like what? Liv, it's fine. Even Natalie's been a teenager once. Yeah? I waterbomb the head teacher. Ten days hard labour clearing school dinner slops. I smack like pink custard for weeks. <laughs> it's a bit more than that, though, isn't it? Go on. Hey, if we're getting to know one another, we've got to get into the nitty gritty. Liv. It's fine, really. These two have been amazing. It's so supportive, you know. I started drinking. And I didn't think it was a problem at first. But I got in a bit of a mess. OK. That must have been really difficult. Well, yeah, it was. You know, if it can happen to her, she's a great kid, and it can happen to anyone. I wouldn't be better now without these two. They never stopped trying. Even though I'd, I'd really let them down. You yeah. hadn't? I had. I mean, you didn't find out about it until I was locked up, and... <sighs> anyone else would have walked away. By locked up, you mean...? Liv was in Young Offenders for a couple of months. She, uh she spiked someone's drink. I mean, I wouldn't do that now, you know. I was stupid. What with? Catsman. And the person who drank it? Lisa. Family. She forgave her. You know, it's, it's water under the bridge now. Right. Sorry, boy. It's a serious crime. A friend of mine was spiked. Kidney damage. Not good. Well, Liv's not got a bad bone in her body. She was egged on. You know what kids can be like. Yeah, and being locked away actually helped me sort my head out, you know. Honestly, I'm, I'm good. Thanks to these two. And she's got the gift with Seb. I mean, the minute he lays eyes on her, he's giggling. <laughs> if you think a baby's not safe around her, then you're wrong. I'm sure you're smashing with kids. So, while we're kind of airing the dirty laundry, Anyone else been bothered with the police? 